Hey everyone, um, today is October 19th, 2023, and I did receive a message from the Lord this morning. You guys, he's warning and warning and warning and warning because he is a merciful God and he truly wants none to perish. Yay. And there's so many people not heeding the warnings, um, but he will continue to warn until the moment he takes his people out of here. But time is very short, so please call out to Jesus, take all of these messages, um, any messages you hear from anyone on here, take back to the Lord and he will show you who is truly speaking by him and who is not. Um, all right, so this message says, children, this is your last warning. There is no more delay. I am taking my people home. The trumpets will sound and you will be caught up with me in the clouds. I told you my words were true that I am coming to rescue you. I do not wish for any of my people to perish. I have a sword coming for those mocking and scoffing my anointed. This is truly the end, children. You have endured to the end. Listen to my voice as I call you up hither. To those who will be left for my window of opportunity, fall to your knees, worship me. I am a forgiving God. If you come to me with full repentance, I will keep you from the hour of trial coming upon this whole world. I warn and warn and warn because I love and truly want none to perish but you refuse to listen to my voice. I am speaking through my anointed. They have given up everything for me. Have you? Examine your fruits, children, before throwing stones at my anointed. They warn you because they love you. They speak my words to you just to be mocked and accused and scorned, but no more. I can no longer watch my people suffer this persecution. I will avenge them. And you who have condemned them will truly be sorry and eat every word spoken. Time is up, my people. Prepare to meet your God. Come to me. Lay down your pride. Cry out to me. Confess I am Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died on the cross for you, who shed my blood for you, who suffered for you. I did it to save you. Just believe in me. Believe it is by my grace you are saved. It was finished at the cross. Stop adding limitations to my grace. Judge not, lest you be judged. Heed this warning, children, because time is truly up. I am calling my people home. If you continue to reject me during my window of opportunity, you will have to die under the sword for my glory. I do not want this for you, my children. Please listen to my words. Put down your pride. Come to me with full repentance, and I will forgive you. Tick tock, my door is closing. I am your Lord God, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I have spoken. Okay, and the scripture he gave first is Genesis 2, 17. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Deuteronomy 4, 24. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. Exodus 1, 7. But the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful. They multiplied greatly, increased in numbers, and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Philippians 2, 7, rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. Jonah 3, 5, the Ninevites believed God, a fast was proclaimed, and all of them from the greatest to the least put on sackcloth. Philemon 1, 3, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 4, 16, so that you do not become corrupt and make for yourselves an idol, an image of any shape, whether formed like a man or a woman. Job 2.9, his wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. Genesis 1.7, so God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it, and it was so. Joshua 5, 4 through 9. Now this is why he did so. All those who came out of Egypt, all the men of military age, died in the wilderness on the way after leaving Egypt. All the people that came out had been circumcised, but all the people born in the wilderness during the journey from Egypt had not. The Israelites had moved about in the wilderness 40 years until all the men who were of military age when they left Egypt had died, since they had not obeyed the Lord. For the Lord had sworn to them that they would not see the land that he had solemnly promised their ancestors to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So he raised up their sons in their place, and these were the ones Joshua circumcised. They were still uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. And after the whole nation had been circumcised, they remained where they were in camp until they were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the, repro the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. 
Ezekiel 18, 2 through 3, what do you people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? The parents eat sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, you will no longer quote this proverb in Israel. Philippians 1, 7, it is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. And lastly is Isaiah 28, 3 through 6. That wreath, the pride of Ephraim's drunkards, will be trampled underfoot. That fading flower, his glorious beauty, set on the head of a fertile valley, will be like figs right before harvest. As soon as people see them and take them in hand, they swallow them. In that day, the Lord Almighty will be a glorious crown, a beautiful wreath for the remnant of his people. He will be a spirit of justice to the one who sits in judgment, a source of strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. Put your trust and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ today for your salvation. You cannot work to get to heaven. You cannot earn salvation. It is a completely free gift that he paid for in full at the cross. Um, all you have to do is believe that he paid the price for you in full. Put your trust and your faith in him alone to save you. I love you in Christ. <laughs>